Okay, while we're here, let's solve another one. Length of the last word after the Roman to the integers. Name is very clear. Length of the last word and you get one S. Given a string S consisting of words and spaces, return the length of the last word in the string. A word is a maximal substring consisting of non-space characters only. So if you have hello Jody, we should return four as I understand. Logic is easy. I start with the length is zero. I will start from the end. We'll go character by character. If it's not space, I will add one to my L. If it's a space, I will return L. Very straightforward. Input to examples. Yes, right. Return five. Ow. Special case. What happens if we have a space at the end? It should return four. So we have to think about it. What I will do is, I will do the same logic. So, hello, Jody. I will start from the end. I will come. I will have L equals zero in the beginning. If it's not space, I will add one to the L and move to the left. If it's space or the string is finished, I will return L. But if it's space and the character is space, if character is space and L is still zero, so it's a space at the end. I will just continue going to the left. Easy logic. And always you will have some constraints here. There are, most of the time I don't look into them. Sometimes it's very important. Here, for example, it says L is between length of the string. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> the length of the string is between 1 and 10 to the power of 4. So this is the length. It's not super, super long. S consists of only English letters and spaces. Good for us. There will be at least one word. So you, don't, you won't have this. Good. Let's write this in something more fun, which is C. Many of the competitive programmers will write in C++. Because it has lots of building, standard building, whatever it has, batteries included, libraries. So you will have access to hash tables and everything. And on the other hand, it's compiled. So it's very fast. It's memory efficient compared to something like Python. And the syntax is not very strange or verbose. So C++ will be the choice if you are going to compete. But here, it's fun to write in C. If you were in an interview, the interviewer would be happy. But I were not solving in C. You are a very fun person. What else do we have? Erlang, Racket, Scholar, Ross. We have to test some of this. Anyway, let's do it in C. It's easy. So we start with int L equals 0. We start with 0. Good. So I wanted to do with int index equals strlen of my string. This is another trap in many programming languages. If I have Jody, the strlen or len of s or whatever of s will be 4. But this is the zeroth one, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So when checking this, you have to be careful about this. So I will start i with the Length of that one minus one. Depends on how we are writing our program. I can do this and subtract it later. So I will say while i is higher than zero. So while we still have something, do this. Let's imagine a normal case without the spaces at the end first. So I would say subtract 1 from i if s i is not equal to space add to l and see I need these parentheses ok else I can say break break will break the loop. So I will go here and here I will 
uh, return L. Here I would be able to say return L, but this is cleaner. So this is a simple case. I'm starting with hello Jadi. I will start with from here. I will subtract one. We'll check if this is space. It's not, so I will add one to L. Then I will go to the loop again. I is larger than zero, so I will see this. I will add another one. I will see this at another one. I will see this at another one. Then we'll come here, we'll subtract one from i, I will check this, okay, it's space. So I will break and return i. I only need the case where I have hello Jody some spaces here. I can say if it's space and l is zero, just go to the next one, don't break. So I can say else if L is not zero. And pi and C I can say if not L. But this is more readable. Let's run it. Ouch. What happened? Oh, where is my S? Where this did it go? You can review and see where this has gone. Okay, all the cases are accepted, so we will submit. Hmm, later. We were good enough, so we run it once more to have better screenshots. I'm not going to take a screenshots, but if you do, this is the trick. I found out that people does this. Now we are better than 100%. Anyway, this was cool and fun and easy. Write it in your own programming language or in another methods. Everything works. For example, you can go from the beginning, find the last space you encounter, subtract it from the length, removing the last ones, whatever. Have fun. It's programming.